Quarter 2 Lesson 4 Combined Variation Combined Variation The statement Z varies directly as X and inversely as Y means Z is equal to K o KX over Y or K is equal to YZ over X where K is the constant of variation. So, kapag sinabing combined, pagsasamahin natin yung mga naunang variation. So, pagsasamahin natin ang pwedeng direct and inverse at pwede rin ang jointly and inversely. So, sa combined variation, pwede nating pagsamahin ang direct variation at inverse variation. Example, A varies directly as B and inversely as C. So, kung gagawa natin ito na equation, this will be um, A, the equation will be A A is equal to KB over C. So, again, a varies directly as B and inversely as C. So, the, the equation will be A is equal to KB over C. Then, for number 2, joint variation plus inverse variation, siya naman yung pagsasamahin. So, example, Y varies jointly as X and Z and inversely as W. So, ang equation niya ay magiging Y is equal to K x, z, and inversely as w. So, ito yung dalawang variation na pwede natin pagsamahin para maging combined variation. Translate. T varies directly as A and inversely as B. So, we are going to write the equation. So, varies directly. So, it says here, varies directly and inversely. So, combined siya. So, unahin muna natin yung T varies directly. So, T varies directly as A. So, K A over kasi inversely as B. So, this is the equation for number 1. T is equal to K A over B. Then, for number 2, Y varies jointly as the square of the product of X and Z and inversely as W. So again, so we have here varies jointly and inversely. So combined ang joint and inverse. So for our first, so we will have Y is equal to K. So jointly as the square of the product of X and Z. So, square ng product ng x, z, square over w. So, square of the product ng x and z and inversely as w. Examples, number one. If z varies directly as x and inversely as y, and z is equal to 9 when x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 2. Find z when x is equal to 8 and y is equal to 12. So for our solution, so we will have for our first or for our equation, so let's take a look at z varies directly as x and inversely as y. So we will have z is equal to varies directly as x so kx and inversely as y over y so z is equal to kx over y then let us get the value of k from the second phrase okay z is 9 when x so z is 9 equals k when x is 6 and y is 2. So we have 9 is equal to k times 
times 6 over 2. Then, let's have cross multiplication. So, 9 times 2, that is 18, is equal to k times 6. Then, divide both sides by 6. So, our k is equal to, so cancel, 6, 18 divided 6, that is 3. So, our k is 3. Then, we are going to substitute this k to our equation. So, we will have z is equal to 3x over y. Then, for the third and last phrase, sabi dito, find z when x is 8 and y is equal to 12. So, we have z is equal to 3 times 8 over 12. So, we will have z is equal to 8 times 3 is 24 over 12. So, 24 over 12, z is equal to Number 2. P varies jointly as Q and square of R and inversely as S. Find K if P is equal to 40 when Q is 5, R is 4, and S equals 6. So it says here for our equation, P varies jointly as Q and the square of R. So, unahin muna natin yun. So, P is equal to Jointly, k, q, and the square of r, r squared, and inversely as s. So, this is our equation. Then, find k. So, we are going to find for k. If our p is 40, equals k, q is 5, so times 5, r is 4, then squared, all over S, which is 6. Then, simplifying this, so we will have 40 is equal to K times 5 times 16 all over 6. Then, simplifying this, so cross multiplication, so 40 times 6, that is 240 equals, so we have, um, K times 5 times 16, that is 5 times 16, that is 80K. So, 80K. Divide both sides by 80. So, our K can cancel. So, 240 divided by 80, our K is equal to 3. Kanina, our equation is P is equal to k qr squared over s then nakuha natin na k ay 3 kaya this will become p is equal to 3 qr squared over s then dun sa follow up natin so sabi dito find s when p is 10 so, ang P daw ay 10 equals 3. Ang Q natin ay 5. So, times 5. Then, ang ating R ay 2. So, 2 squared kasi R squared all over finding S. All over S. So, simplifying this. So, this will become 10 equals 3 times 5 is 15. Then our four square, uh, 2 squared is 4 over S. So we will have 10 is equal to 15 times 4 is 60 over S. Then cross multiply, so that will become 10 times S, that is 10S equal 60. Then divide both sides by 10. So, our S is equal to 6. So, cancel yung 10. 60 divided by 10 is 6. Please like, share, and subscribe. Sir, aksi lang. Thanks for watching.